It's coffee time. It's just so exciting to be back here, isn't it, Mum? Oh, it's great. Yeah, hey. I come back home. First of all, I want to show you guys what I picked up from Celine today. I didn't buy anything. I just picked up my bag, but as soon as I saw these, I knew they were the one. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. Do you guys recognize this top because I bought it a couple of weeks ago and I shared it with you guys. So I'm finally wearing it. I mean, I've been wearing it off the vlog a lot, but I'm finally wearing it here on YouTube. How are you all going? I hope that you've been well. It's a Friday here. As I mentioned, so this morning I had my personal training session. I've quickly come back to my apartment gotten ready for the day and now I'm heading out to grab a coffee and I think I'll bring my laptop with me so that I can get a bit of work done just some kind of emailing and client work and then later this afternoon I'm hoping I can just take a step back and start my weekend I don't have too many plans this weekend which is good because as you guys know I like to kind of you know just see how things go and take it day by day so without further ado let's get this video started I just got changed because I'm heading out to dinner now. So we're going to Crown. We haven't booked anywhere, but we'll soon see. Fingers crossed we can get in to a lovely restaurant for dinner. So I've just put on this Forever New blouse and then I've got my Scanlon Theodore skirt on and I've also got my Stuart Weitzman sandals. So this is my Friday night look. We've just come to Bistro Guyam for dinner here at Crown and I'm so excited to order some gnocchi. It comes with zucchini watercress and ricotta so I've got the menu here I mean it's such a beautiful menu as well so I highly recommend this restaurant it's a very luxurious experience so I'm totally treating myself tonight Morning everyone and happy Saturday. I'm all dressed and ready to go because I'm heading out to a brunch today for an Instagram collaboration at Temperance Society in Hughesdale. I've been there before and it's really good so I'll bring you guys along with me. I think I already know I'm going to get a smashed avo because it's my favorite brunch dish. What can I say? And then we're heading off to Chadston for a bit of a shopping afternoon. I haven't been to Chadston in so long, so I'm really excited. And the best part is that we don't have to wear masks here in Melbourne anymore. Restrictions have fully eased, so we don't have to wear masks at shopping centers or supermarkets, which is a great sign of progress. And I haven't been to Chadston since, I don't even think I've been since like lockdown. 2020 because you know I mean a shopping center isn't probably the best place to go when you know you've got a pandemic so I have avoided Chadston but I miss it so much and it'll be good to go for a bit of a walk around do some shopping and just see what's been happening there so anyway let's get going I'm going to spritz myself with some perfume and then get ready to go and today I'm wearing my Gucci sneakers Scanlon Theodore pleated skirt and this Scanlon Theodore cardigan as well, which is super cute and very retro as well. All right, guys, I'm going to get this smashed avocado, which comes with feta, heirloom tomatoes, radish, chili, and black sesame. So, sounds good. We were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love A few years later I have started thinking We are just at Chadston now and it's so good to be here without wearing a mask. There's not too many people here so it feels pretty, pretty safe and social distanced. So now it's time to do some shopping and have a look around. It's just so exciting to be back here, isn't it mum? Oh, it's great. Yeah, I come back home. If it's just love in every glass I'm drinking, we're like one and without you I'm sinking. It's a lot later on, as I'm sure you can tell. 
fresh faced in my pajamas and ready for bed but I wanted to point out that I bought new bedding today at Adair's at Chadston and it's all by the brand Home Republic so I got a quilt cover and the matching European pillowcases in this velvet daisy pattern which I'm so obsessed with and then I bought gingham these peachy like gingham sheets and pillowcases so I'm really happy with my purchase and there's no better feeling than sleeping in fresh bedding so I know I'm going to have the best sleep tonight good night guys I'll speak to you in the morning this is the quilt cover I wanted to quickly show you guys because it's just too cute not to I'll show you in proper daylight tomorrow but it's velvet and then I've got this sheet underneath I have the gingham fitted sheet standard pillowcase then we've got the European pillowcases I mean this just looks so comfy and cozy it's time for me to jump in good morning everyone happy Sunday fun day I'm just about to head out to grab a coffee and to go for a bit of a walk around the city I've got this polo Ralph Lauren knit on that I showed you guys when I bought a few weeks ago as well and I've just got blue denim jeans on today. We're going for a casual Sunday look, so let's go get caffeinated. I'm always shining next to you. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to. Chasing pavement on my own. Got my coffee from Sensory Lab. We're just going for a bit of a walk through the Royal Arcade. We just had a look at the most gorgeous Babushka store, so make sure you go and check them out. They have some beautiful creations in there and yeah it seems pretty busy in the city today it's doesn't it busy, very busy it's good to see we are in our car on the way to the south melbourne market i know we are creatures of habit we do the same thing every week <laughs> but it's been a really productive morning i actually picked up my bag from celine i'll explain more about that later on because i had my bag pampered as part of their complimentary pamper service for leather goods so my bag was literally sent off to Hong Kong and it's now back in my home I missed it like I genuinely missed my bag because I wear it every day during the week to my co-working space I love my Celine bag so much so I'll show you that after but yeah now we're getting our smoothie from the South Melbourne market it's a very sunny day in the city as well so it's just been nice a nice and relaxed Sunday I've just made myself a cup of licorice tea because it's actually quite fresh here in Melbourne today. So I'm just, you know, making myself feel nice and warm and cozy. I'm going to put my tracksuit on soon, I think, because I just want to have a lazy Sunday afternoon. But first of all, I want to show you guys what I picked up from Celine today. I didn't buy anything. I just picked up my bag because like I mentioned earlier, it actually went to Hong Kong. So I got a message from a sales assistant at Celine telling me that my bag was due for a pamper. And I just think this is like a great initiative and something that more designer stores should do and you know just to really look after their customers I mean when you purchase a designer bag like it's a big investment this was a big investment and not many stores offer you complimentary kind of you know bag restoration so I'm really glad that Celine does this and they even put it in a nice a nice bag too so let's unbox and let's have a look at my bag. I missed it so much, honestly. This has to be one of my all-time favorite bags that I've ever purchased. And it was on my wish list for years and years and years. I think since I was 16 years old, I wanted one of these after seeing it in the Kardashians because all of the Kardashians used to wear these, especially back when I was, yeah, like 16 or 17. So let's take this off but basically what they've done I mean the outside of the bag was always pretty fine but it was more the inside it's all suede on the inside so you know it's normal for it to get a bit a bit dirty not hugely dirty but you know just like bits and pieces get stuck to the suede I carry a lot of papers inside this bag my laptop as well so it can get a bit scuffed and they've perfectly restored it. So it's looking really good. I just love it so much. It still has that like new bag smell as well. 
All right, so let's unwrap the handles. We've taped them up. So it took about four weeks to actually get the bag pampered. And I didn't realize when I was dropping it off at the David Jones store that the bag was actually going to Hong Kong. I remember asking the sales assistant, I was like, oh, so you know, like, where do you actually take it? Is it here in Melbourne or Sydney? And she said, no, it actually goes all the way to Hong Kong and they do it all there. So I was like a bit, you know, sad to send it off overseas, especially because, you know, with, at, with all of the delays at the moment because of the pandemic, I knew that I wouldn't be able to use it for a few weeks. But in the grand scheme of things, obviously it's no big deal. It's just, I genuinely use this bag, I'd say five, five days a week. So it's good to have it back again. Okay, one handle is unwrapped. They've really like wrapped it, this properly. But I just think, like I said, it's, it's great that they offer this service because not many luxury handbag stores do anything like this, especially, you know, complimentary. I think it has really made me think about going back to Celine and investing in more of their pieces. So definitely a good initiative on their behalf because it really shows good customer service. All right, this is just actually more difficult to do than I realized they've really taped these handles. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. All right, here is the final result and I'll show you guys the inside as well. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, that's really lovely. It says, we are pleased to return your product. It has been carefully repaired and we hope you will be fully satisfied. We remain at your disposal should you need further assistance. Do not hesitate to contact us. I mean, like, again, going above and beyond. I'm so for that and just didn't expect this, to be honest. I had no idea that this was all included when you actually buy the bag. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's my authentication card. Let's have a look. Oh yes, it's the original. It's the original price tag from when I first bought it. So this is the inside of the bag. As you can see, like the black suede is pretty much perfect. Honestly, it looks amazing. And when I sent it off, it was a bit marked because I actually do use my bag. So, you know, I don't keep my bags locked away. I try to use them as much as I can so that I'm really getting my money's worth when I invest in something like this. So yeah, that looks great. And it also zips up. It does fit my laptop, my MacBook. It fits books, it fits a lot. So it's a very durable bag and one you could travel with as well. It's actually called their luggage bag. So I guess it is intended for travel. So there you have it. That is my review on my Celine bag, which I love so much. I mean, yeah, it's finally home. I've missed it so so much so i'll be wearing this to my co-working space tomorrow that's for sure before i sign off i also just wanted to show you guys my new glasses that i got from opsm they're chanel and they're this gorgeous tortoise shell design i'm really happy with them i think they suit my face really well which you know it can be difficult picking out a pair of glasses but as soon as i saw these I knew they were the one. <laughs> that sounds so cheesy, but it's so true. So I'm going to leave this video here. I feel like this week's vlog has been a little bit of a short one. I hope you guys don't mind. I will endeavor to film more in future weeks. And we have Easter coming up next weekend. I have a few things planned. So stay tuned for that. You might see some guest appearances from some of my family members, which I'm really excited to, you know, catch up with everyone and enjoy an Easter lunch. So that's my plan for Easter weekend. Let me know if you celebrate Easter, what have you got planned? Leave a comment down below. And anyway, I'll see you guys in next week's vlog. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Click that subscribe button, come and join the Frenchie fam and share this video with a friend because sharing is caring. And if you are in Melbourne and you want to connect with like-minded locals over good food and coffee at the Kettle Black, purchase your ticket for Frenchie's Brunch Club. I'll leave the link below. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my licorice tea now. Cheers, and I'll see you next week. I'm the light cause I got you.
been afraid of changes But you show me life is full of 